Wait a minute, bro. Did you call what? me Young Kitty? <laughs> <laughs> I just caught that. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you like a light skin the bad thing. Oh my god. Stop yeah, it. Come on. <laughs> <Talk> <laughs> to him. Stop the madness. Stop it. Oh. Oh my god. Yeah. Turn it up. Hey, you might gotta turn your music off in the background though. Yeah, my bad. I forgot, I can't even hear that shit either. Anyway. Yeah! <laughs> Call me young lady. A baddie. A bad light skin thing. Oh, you like skin Hey, you better embrace your, your, your bad light skin thing, man. Pardon me, man. What the fuck? Bad light skin thing. Slow winding. Oh my god. <laughs> Y'all motherfucking popcorns, y'all don't, drinks, don't, don't. y'all smokes, y'all get fucking Waiting on you, niggas, to join the chat. Yeah. Waiting on you, niggas, to join the chat. Hey. Get y'all black licorice. Get oh, y'all come on, ice bro. cream. <laughs> <laughs> get the bullshit y'all putting y'all got in the body. Black- the, the black liquor rice? Hell no, nah, bro. <laughs> black liquor rice? <laughs> yeah. Mint ice cream. Yeah. Y'all get your bullshit. The nastiest shit that y'all can eat on the planet. Come join us. Bullshit. Hey, that bullshit. Hey. Bullshit. What do you say? That bullshit. Hey. We all here, baby. Wow! Wow! Get that pop up in the room! We gon' whip it, we gon' slide it, we gon' move it, we gon' move it. We gon' whip it, we gon' slide it, we gon' talk it, we gon' talk it. Hey. 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 The greatest motherfucking podcast is of all time. You already know. Y'all think you see the nigga walk on water like us? Nigga again, nigga. Nigga again, motherfuckers. We walk on water and spit fire. Dragons, <laughs> you want to know the five greatest podcasts of all time? Name them. Magic Think Tank Podcast, Magic okay. Think Tank Podcast, Magic Think Tank Podcast, Magic Think Tank Podcast, and Magic Think Tank Podcast. Yes! Greatest of all time. Yes, Sarah. <laughs> I said black licorice. <laughs> why they gotta be the most nastiest one? You know why? Because of White supremacy. That is 100% white supremacy. White supremacy. <laughs> they black licorice, the nastiest of them all. They wanted you to see black and automatically drink hatred. Hate, nastiness, despicable, despised. <laughs> Dr. Umar, you need to address this. Disgusting motherfuckers on the planet. <laughs> Hey, drop that motherfucking beat, Brody. Oh, drop the beat? Damn. Drop the motherfucking beat. Drop the shit early. Fuck it.
All right then. Right on time, my nigga. All right then. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Hey. Uh. Y'all hey. know what that means. Week to week. Look for <laughs> your boys. Remember that dance? <laughs> I, I do, I do, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all motherfucking ages. We proudly present to you the greatest motherfucking podcasters of all time, the greatest podcast you're ever gonna see in your motherfucking life. This wow. is episode number 29, right? Of yeah, the Magic Think yeah. Tank Podcast. We are your magnificent host. I am Tank, also known as Frank. Hey, I'm Magic, also known as Kamal. And this is the Magic Think Tank Podcast. Now, Magic, let them know, just in case it's their first time tuning in, listening to us, or watching, or listening, or whatever, where can they find us? Look, man, YouTube been around since 2005. We know that now. We talked about that last week. Nah, this is the slogan. I'm saying it. Every video, bruh. No, 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 no. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm letting the people know. You know what I mean? Letting oh. them know. This is investigative journalism at its finest, <laughs> at its peak. You know? Buckets. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yes. Look at YouTube been around since 05. Y'all know what to do. I don't need to say shit. For my potters out there, though, we on Apple Podcasts, we on SoundCloud, and we on Google Podcasts. All you got to do is type in the Magic Think Tank or Kamal Johnson ENT. Bam! We pop right the fuck up. Right the fuck up. Hey, let's give our audience a motherfucking hand clap out there. You watching the live? Are you about to be watching on the tubes? Are you about to listen on the pod? Give yourself a motherfucking hand clap. All of y'all be in there clapping like this. Yeah. And just in case it's your motherfucking first time listening, we are proudly presented by Comfort City Mechanical Inc., your HVAC and plumbing specialist of San Diego, California. Also brought to you by Triple Seven Clothing on Amazon.com. And last but not motherfucking least, first place loser clothing line in apparel. Get your garments today. High quality, high fashion garments brought to you by who? Young Magic you niggas. himself. All right. Support your homies and also support strangers. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna okay, really right. get in, we're gonna get in to getting into it. How's your day, your week, your month going, Young Magic? Bro, my shit been going cool though. You feel me? About yes, sir. Another uh, another shoot for the clothing line. This yeah, Sunday. yeah, yeah. Okay. And for a treat, and I'm dropping the motherfucking video shoot that we recently did. Yes, Fuck it tomorrow, baby. Do you hear it, baby? <laughs> Rock a baby. So my man is working, man. Yeah, my man is working. Every day he is working on several different ventures that he is doing. If you yep. watch this, you should be supporting him independently as well. So please do. If you fuck with me, you fuck with him. It, 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 it's a it's 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 a dynamic that we have going. You know what I'm saying? It's synonymous, yep. right? Yeah, man. But other than that, man, like. My day been cool, bro. Like, like my fantasy about the motherfucking win. Hopefully, because I'm playing Chuck. Shout out to Chuck, one of our best friends. You do not want to lose to this nigga though, because yeah, he's Nigerian. Shit, shit. You know shout out to Rockhead, like, man. He gonna win off a scam, bro. You already oh, know. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Hey, speaking of Nigerians, you know Usman motherfucking fight, and you know Kobe called him and talk about that nigga daddy, talk about he's a scammer and shit. <laughs> it's like Usman Nigerian. This shit crazy, bro. How many times? This how many crazy. times does he? This man have to have his ass whooped? <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like that shit is annoying. Like it's just like you ever beat a nigga up and he's still talking. Like has that happened to you before? And then at that point, it's moot, right? It's just like, bro, you're you're less less than a human to me at this point, right? Talking shit for no reason, just blah blah blah. <laughs> In his nature, God respect it though. The nigga get his ass up and he's still talking shit. That's just that man. I mean, I, I don't have to respect that, and I refuse to. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to respect his Trump toting ass hat wearing stupid ass. Like I, I'm not, I'm not really supporting anything about him. But 
they do what they have to do to sell fights. And, you know, I know it's part of the game. And I, I understand that's on brand for him, right? Yeah. You know, everybody's taking the, the Floyd Mayweather, Conor McGregor cue. And uh, that's, that's what sell fights. So, you know, keep talking your shit. I, I will tune in to see you get your ass beat again. Yeah. Just off GP. Get your Go ahead and get your, your ass beat for white supremacy, big dog. Yeah, I support. I support that decision. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I definitely support you getting beat up for white supremacy. So I'm, I'm tuning in for that too. <laughs> white supremacy needs to go down in a terrible way, brother. In a, in a terrible motherfucking way, it needs to take an L. Speaking of, have yeah. you? Uh, did you see? You know, all of you guys. Have any of you guys seen the uh, the the QAnon meetup? <laughs> that they had so they believed that yesterday john f kennedy jr who died 20 years ago was supposed to be resurrected yesterday he was hiding somewhere maybe in cuba with tupac you know maybe somewhere in the las vegas cave with elvis presley or something like that they believed that he was going to be resurrected so they went out to the grassy knoll where john f kennedy senior obviously was was killed unfortunately um you know, while driving with his motorcade, um, you know, through the streets. And so, yeah. so they all met out there because they believed he was going to come back and he was going to pledge his allegiance to Donald Trump. And they were going to then from that point, take over the white house. So they all met out there and he didn't show. Right. <laughs> he was a fucking no show, obviously, because you know, he's dead. <laughs> they were probably mad too. How the fuck is this nigga not going to show? What the fuck? Well, I what saw a couple fuck? people saying that, oh, he didn't show up because it was it was a little rainy outside. So I mean, he didn't show because of rain. Yeah, I mean, maybe I, I don't know. I mean, maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know, bro. You tell me. You know what I'm saying? Is this nigga the bad guy from Ghostbusters? I mean, the I guess fuck? he is. What the fuck? <laughs> didn't the fuck you motherfucking know, like rain was his like or water was his enemy or some shit like yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> Stay puff marshmallow man, nigga. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> this nigga. Oh my god. So I guess yeah, he's the statewide <laughs> QAnon man. They thought that's who he was. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. What the fuck is going on? But bro, bro? this really like it concerns like like the mental stability of the the right wing support to me is just a general concern. Right? Yeah, what the it's fuck like, is wrong with him? Why, like, why would you believe, like, you believe, you have to believe so many things, so many things to come in line with those conspiracy theories. But you can't believe every fucking doctor in the world that says you should, you know, get injected. There we go. You know? Word. So... So you know what I mean. So so to me, it, it's it's total ass hattery, right? Ass <laughs> like, hattery. You know what, what I mean. Fuck? <laughs> you right. know so, so the, the big college words. Yeah. But so so I mean, look, the anthrax agents are gonna do what they do, you know, at all times. The anthrax agents. And, and one thing that they're very good at is being setting a double standard. And yeah. being complete fucktards. Bro, I... <laughs> so he couldn't come out because of rain? Yeah, the rain got... This nigga got a weave in his hair? I mean, I guess so. He turned to, he turned <laughs> to a black <laughs> woman. That's how he was able to hide out this whole time. <laughs> turned into a black woman. Oh, my God, bro. Wow. That's... Changed his name to Janiqua. Janiqua. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh hell no! I'm not going out there. Uh, uh-uh. I'm not getting my hair wet for this. <laughs> hell no, Donald. I will see you in office, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Oh my fucking goodness, bro! These niggas, goons, yeah, bro. bro. They're, they're complete, complete morons. I, I mean, to to say it lightly, and I kind of like they're like really grasping at straws and marbles and pieces of sand to try to resurrect this failed presidency and i don't i don't see why i don't understand stand it let it go bro that nigga still might win though if he wins he wins i really don't care at this point because 
really ain't gonna make much of a fucking difference. Yeah. They'll just be celebrating, and a bunch of other people will be sad. I don't even like. I, I was having a conversation today with my mom, and I'm like, bro, at this point, I don't even know if any votes even count anymore. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go vote. <laughs> no who, votes matter. Who like who is to say that like there's not some elite person just like all right, this person's gonna be the president. Like they just have a group meeting and decide. Like we would never know. It's like Squid Game, bro. Bro, how is it like Squid Game? How so? Because the, the like one we we played a Squid Game, nigga. <laughs> but we've been we playing a squid in- game since we landed in fucking America. America Bro, is a squid game. What the think fuck? about it. We all in this shit, right? And uh-huh. the one homeless nigga, rich as hell, he the one pushing all the buttons and shit. <laughs> I mean, it could be. Nigga. It could be. You never know. We, we there could be some sh- shadowy government, you know, that that controls everything. Nobody knows. You know what I mean? So. Like, to me, I'm not going to cry. I mean, it was unfortunate the first time. And I was really upset when, when you know, um, that buffoon won the first time. Um, hey, the economy did do better, though, until fucking uh, the T-Virus 19 hit. Uh, yeah, hey. No, that, that, the, the, see, this is where people get confounded and confused when you say things like that. Because it kept on the transitionary phase that it had already taken form during the Obama presidency. So towards the end, they were seeing an uptick. It just maintained that same uptick. That was the only thing. It maintained the uptick. And then COVID obviously made everything, you know, go out of whack. But it maintained the uptick. That's that's it. You don't think it was a slight increase? It no, crazy. it had nothing. To, he did not create any jobs. He didn't do anything personally. This was all. It takes years for these things to develop. As soon as he went into office, he was taking credit for the job creations that happened months in advance. So you can put out all the statistics that you want, but to somebody with a trained eye, they're going to catch bullshit every time. It just maintained the the same steady increase that was happening. So he just didn't go into, you know, dog shit. Wait basically. a minute. Was, that, was the economy, like, doing better when Obama was in there, though? I feel like, was he it? He said, wasn't it doing better? Was it doing better or like yeah. in the turn was it kind of Yeah, well, so no it was it was increasing. It was increasing. I mean the 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 two most successful presidencies over the past, you know, 30 years have been the Clinton administration and the Obama administration. Uh it depends. Clinton it locked has. A, a Clinton locked a lot of niggas up though with his well, Yeah, he like I'm, I'm talking <laughs> about job creation. This you know, we're going to separate things, you know what I mean? Oh, so I'm talking, talking about, about as far as itself. as far as the economy and job creation, yeah. those were the two uh, you know, presidents that had the most success with policies that they put in place that th- then in turn made, you know, the creation of jobs possible. Mm. So, you know, whether it be, you know, money into infrastructure which create jobs obviously, money into education, money into uh, you know, the the medical field, um, so those things are all job creators and, and that's what these two guys did and they were very successful at it. Yeah. Um, so what's Sarah saying? And, the the mortuary sells our origins on the dark web. What? <laughs> they might. Hey. Uh, organs. I think she meant organs. Organs. No, the dark. The or- oh, yeah, no. Yeah, no, for sure. I 100%. What are you going to do with if it? You, if you like I don't need it. Or- hey. And if you don't sign that shit, where you be like, "Hey, do you think they illegally be doing it though?" Why would yes, they be like, no, "You can't take my why would, why would they not? Who's who's checking up on it? Who's it? Are, are you? If a family member passes away, are you saying like, "Hey, what's got a organ detective?" <laughs> yeah, like like yeah, an organ, a uh, fucking organ detective from Oregon. <laughs> 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 Oregon detective, where are you from? Oregon. Yeah, but obviously. Duh. Yeah. The Oregon detective. I know you're the Oregon detective, but where are you from? From Oregon. I'm a detective. <laughs> so, I mean, again, I mean, I really don't like to go down that whole dark path, but I thought that was funny, you know, to see all those people standing. It was, you know, uh, I, hundreds of people out there have not, you know, over a thousand people out there standing on a grassy knoll waiting for a dead guy to magically appear like fucking Thanos is going to snap his finger and all his bits were going to come back together. And uh, it didn't happen. So um, had faith though. 
God. Yeah, dude. I mean, maybe, maybe it's I, and it, like I was saying, I was saying as well. I'm like, I don't believe anything that wholeheartedly. Like nothing. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? To, to to like, I really don't like anything is possible. You know, relatively, but I don't. I mean, uh, I don't believe like even science, right? When it comes to just mm-hmm. basic science, they have they update. You know, medical journals every year, right? They they come, they find, you know new relationships between neutrons and electrons all of you know like they they are able to see more and more every year which changes their understanding of things so yeah. you know obviously with the lack of complete understanding of any subject there's going to be room you know for for movement and uh, so i don't i never really believe anything that wholeheartedly mm-hmm. so I don't know. Big ups to them, man. Big ups to them for 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 believing in, in it so much. They were willing to put their fucking tinfoil hats on and go outside and stand around in a lightning storm. Shouts out to them, man. They wanted to go out like Benjamin Franklin or something. <laughs> fucking Benjamin Franklin, stupid ass niggas, bro. Stupid motherfuckers, man. Hey, hey. man, they got faith though. I can't I can't knock it though, bro. Cause you know I got faith. Yeah, bro. I was gonna ask you how was your day, but like again, just like how was your week and shit. But I guess you know, you know, I mean, I everything's gonna up and up, bro. You always know me. Everything's always good, fam. I, I'm not a, you know, I, I always unless something terrible happens, it has to be like terribly traumatic. And if yeah. it's not that, bro, everything's all good, man. Everything's all fucking good. Like, like I, like we talk about, man. You grew up, you know, going through a bunch of shit, and we ain't gotta go through that no more. So it's all fucking good, man. All peace and love, bro. Yes, sir. Amen. But are you, I've been, I've been, been pondering oh my a God. couple motherfucking things real quick. <laughs> Ponder man in the fucking building. Damn it. I gotta so, do that. Bro, I gotta do that drop soon. If there is freedom of speech, okay. Why the fuck I got a phone bill? <laughs> Why? It's in the Constitution. It's my constitutional right to be able to speak freely. If I have to pay $99 a month for my motherfucking phone service, that's against my constitutional rights. And I demand that the government overthrow every carrier right now and demand them to give me all service for free. Nigga, you that's the first thing. You trying to be the president or something? That's the first thing. Man, I'm building my way up to it. I'm reading yeah, a couple of trying to be the president. Oh, you my God. Saying? I mean, you got, a, you got a point, but I mean. Every now and then I scroll over to the political side of TikTok, and I'm like, hmm, I can fucking do this. I'm smarter than a lot of these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Sure, Every now and then. So I might throw my hat in. Throw it in. Because I believe that this is an egregious disrespect to our flag, our military, and all of our constitutional rights, and Ben Franklin. <laughs> he did not get electrocuted with the with the fucking kite so that I have to pay 99 cents to talk to my cousin that live in Texas. He did not do that. All right? <laughs> Freedom of speech, though. Hey, is, bro. Is it so free? Hmm. And then secondly, one thing that I wonder, just by looking at the English language, because yeah. sometimes I'm like, there's no fucking way that there's a K in no. Like, there's no fucking way. So, if there was a misspelled word in a dictionary, how the fuck would we know? How would we know? Like, if the, you know, the, the first niggas that put together the dictionary just, like, fucked up. Yeah, who is the niggas that put together the dictionary? I don't know. Is, is it Webster? Is Webster the first nigga that like? I don't know. Yeah. Let me. What, if, what if Webster got hired like one night? It was like, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna throw a P and pseudonym." You know what I'm saying? Just, <laughs> just for the hell of it. <laughs> you know what I'm You're, saying? Hey, if you really think about it, though, bro, this nigga probably was fucked up doing some shit. Man, oh, all man. the motherfuckers, all the founding fathers were high as fuck or drunk as fuck most times, bro. No. <laughs> Webster wasn't even the first nigga to write the fucking uh, first English dictionary. It's a nigga named Robert Caudre. Oh, he must have been light skinned or something. They had to steal the whole shit from him. Wait a minute, we're gonna see. Let's see some images. Yeah, let's 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 see some images of this nigga. Let me share with y'all. Let me share with y'all real quick. That's what Robert Robert Caudre looked like. First English dictionary, 1604. 
See, this is shit we be talking about, bro. Yeah. You the nigga that wrote in 1604? Wasn't many years before that? Tell me this nigga don't look drunk in that picture. <laughs> this one right here, bro. Look at <laughs> that nigga, he's most for sure off the lead right there, bro. That nigga, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna pose for this picture, but you gotta pull me up a cup real quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're, smart, <laughs> You're like, nigga, where's the camera? What do you mean? <laughs> what the fuck's my drink? <laughs> Cocaine is illegal. I mean, illegal. <laughs> Damn. Everybody was smack back then. There was no limitations on what you could do. Nobody looked at you weird for fucking doing coke back then. It was just like a normal thing. I'm telling you, smack, bro. Right there, he's in an Italian restaurant right there. Smack or a spaghetti. Right in the shit. Nigga, like, mm, spaghetti. Look, look at his hand right there. He's like, he's like, the motherfucking breadstick's supposed to be right here. You see his hand on the table? Where the breadsticks at? <laughs> Oh my god, bro. That's how he wrote the dictionary. Man, I encourage like, all you guys listening through podcasts to go and look up look up a picture of this man because all the pictures he's obviously faded. Obviously. Sarah says Samuel Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, who the fuck is that nigga? Is he Ellie with the Frank for president? Hey, I appreciate Yo, it. You know what I mean? Nigga. I might be on a ticket near you coming soon. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. So the nigga that wrote the dictionary. Like we like, would have no idea, bro. Robert. Like, how, many, how, many, how many words do you like, bro? Where did why does fucking no start with a K? Like, why would that that doesn't even make any fucking silent letters? We're like one of the only languages on the planet that has silent letters. Yeah. You know why they silent? Cause the nigga was smacked when he was doing that shit. That's why <laughs> he was like, and he was going back and reading them and like, oh shit, ain't no case supposed to be right there. Fuck it, that shit's silent. Don't even worry about that. <laughs> Psychology. <laughs> Psychology. Bro, so like, many fucking words, bro. Man, nigga was mad real, bro. Just adding shit on, bro. Just adding shit on. Fuck it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, we gotta find we gotta find somebody that's in the Caudry family. If I find a person that last name is Caudry, yeah, you have to come up on here, bro, because we are gonna have to talk about your great 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 granddaddy old raggedy ass and why he just had letters on the words. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you wanna know crazy, bro? Them niggas probably wouldn't even know they old they grandfathers and shit. Or they might though. Shit, Caudry's kind of like a kind of a unique name. Well, I mean, look, they might you know white people. You know, have and this is not negative, but they just have more ability to be able to track their ancestry than we do. Obviously, we reach a stalemate, you know, during those pesky slavery years. Oh you my know, god, we have no idea where we came from because those pesky slavery times, those three hundred years of triflingness, um, known as three hundred uh, years. <laughs> so obviously, we have no idea. But you know, white people they they know they're like what their family crests look like and. You know, their complete origins from the time they stepped foot out of the caves in the mountains of Caucasus. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Yeah, Sarah maybe, said she sent you an article not, on Instagram. Yeah, maybe it's Samuel Johnson who wrote the uh, first dictionary. These niggas fucking up. They Ooh. said, they said Robert Caudry. Hmm. Who's Samuel Johnson? What the fuck is Samuel Johnson? Look like a black man. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The investigative was journalism he, journalists are black? on this. Was he black? I don't know. Yo, Sarah, look that up for us, please. Was he a black man? Cause that nigga looked like a like a black dude. And Robert. <laughs> Wait a minute. They got the. They got. No, nah, he hey, definitely looks like a mulatto, and he looks like he, he looks like he wears glasses too. <laughs> this nigga look. They can't even see. <laughs> Bruh. I know a blind nigga could write the dictionary. What the fuck? Yeah, I know you seen this picture of the nigga when he looking at the... Uh, the yeah, that's just one of the pictures I saw. What the like, fuck, bro? Like, what the fuck is this nigga? There's a can in that word? God damn, I fucked up. Damn, <laughs> hey. It's Samuel Johnson. Is he Robert C- 
Crawdry? Who fucking knows at this point? Hey, man. Speaking of fucking ugly names, because, hey, Crawdry is an ugly fucking name, bro. Yeah, that's not the not the most aesthetic name that you, you could come up with. Fuck no. Hey, <laughs> look at the name, bro, right here, bro. Yonkins? Look at this. Motherfucking. Yonkin. Yonkins. We're going to call that nigga Yonkins. Yonkin was a blueprint for midterms. Oh, right. Yeah, that's the most hey. fucking that one over in Virginia, huh? Bro, he won over in Virginia and turned the state red. You want to know what's wild about this shit, though? I ain't even going to read the article because I don't really don't care. I was just trying to make fun of this nigga name. <laughs> seen that nigga name, bro? I swear to you, I was like, yo, this nigga's going to win just because of that name alone. He has a, a, a name that stands out a bit to you? I didn't even know who he ran against. I knew that nigga immediately. Though. I was like, this nigga about to motherfucking win. And we'll look what happened. This nigga. Man, won. look. You know, I'm pulling my, I'm 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 like a, you know, a second away from pulling my head out of, you know, completely out of politics, other than running for president, obviously. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but just just because it's all, I mean, throughout, you know, history, regardless of who's been in the office, who's run Congress, who's run, whatever. I mean, there's just, it's just never been like anything overwhelming where I'm like, okay. It makes a huge difference. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, the last huge thing to happen was Obamacare, right? That's the only thing in my lifetime I could put a, a, a thumb on that was like, okay, this is a big deal, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Medicare, you know, well, Medicare, but medical for, for everyone. Because, mm-hmm. you know, we've all seen the stories of families who have one large medical bill and, you know, the rest of their lives are fucked. They so, become so. Slaves. Yeah, basically, you come a slave to, 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 you know, they're lucky this is not biblical times or, you know, they would be yeah. owned by a sharp medical or a fucking, yeah. <laughs> you know oh what I'm saying? Company, you, 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 you paid off your debt with work back then, right? That, that's how you paid your debts during biblical times. So, mm-hmm. you know, they would be, you know, Kaiser Permanente, you know, fucking slaves for the next 20 years of their life, which basically they are because any extra money is going to them, right? Yeah. So, um. I- so to me, that that's the that's the, the the only thing like that I could put my thumb on to be like, okay, this was a big deal. Other than that, like, bro, I have you know, obviously I keep myself educated and I stay on top of things that I need to know. But like, just being in a battlefield and doing all of this bullshit and talking to a bunch of people about like, whatever, bro. You think what you think, yeah. <laughs> motherfuckers ain't gonna change that. Like, I, I've I've talked to pe- a ton of people in, in an educated manner. And yeah, I'm not going to change your opinion. When it comes to politics, people have their opinions, and a stranger's not going to change that. Hell so no. I'm not arguing anybody. Donald Trump wins, whatever. I really, I, I really don't care. I'm not honestly. I'm not going to vote for him, you know. But whatever, bro. And if you win, at least, at least Twitter be popping again. Shit. <laughs> that nigga had Twitter on a frenzy. God damn. Well, he still ain't going to be allowed on Twitter. Oh yeah, he's gonna make his own shit. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe he'll like come up with some Trump this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe he'll Trump Twitter. You know what I'm saying? No, that's not <laughs> the name of his fucking uh social media platform. We're gonna call it Trump This. Hey, bro, yeah. that would be genius. You need to run his marketing. Yeah. You need to run Donald Trump's marketing campaign. Congratulations. <laughs> he gonna fire Malato. my ass. Nah, you a mulatto, bro. You could get away with that shit. He might not even know this, that you ain't a nigga. <laughs> the hair, the hair, the hair. His hey, hair. Hey, shave all this off, nigga. Mike can get away with his shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn, bro. But this name ugly as fuck, bro. But yeah. I'm just gonna win, bro. I don't know why, like niggas was just certain names when it comes to politics. They just fucking naturally fucking win. I, I mean, obviously, there's there's a certain, you know, remembrance, right? If you hear like a generic name, Johnson, or, you know, whatever, um, Jackson, whatever, this is like, that's a generic name. You hear it all the time, so it doesn't stick out to you. That yeah. name is a different name, so obviously it's going to stand out to you a little bit more. Um, and he probably just had a hell of a campaign trail over there, and plus, it's Virginia, bro. Come on. Yeah, bro. Commonwealth states. Yeah. 
Fuck, Virginia's man. dog shit. Speaking of, you know, as somebody from the DMV, Virginia is notoriously racist state. <laughs> like, it just is. So, you know, flipping heads or toes, whatever. Whatever. I, I don't care. Man. Anyhow, what we got today as far as... Uh, you got a you got a, a news story for me today. You you, you I, can start from the I top. Did. Make it I got, I got one more thing I want to show us though. Okay, yeah, yeah, go ahead. One more thing I want to show us, bro. This is why I don't go to church, bro. This is why oh, I don't Lord. go to church. Not again with the it's church. Getting wild in the church, bro. Read this, bro. All right, let me. Uh, I want to read that. Make my screen a little larger. It says a gun church that glorifies the AR-15 and is led by the son of the Moonies church founder has been making alliances with far right figures. It's getting wild in church, bro. Look at him <laughs> posing. God damn, bro! The if changing. <laughs> the Rod of Iron Ministries is a far right church founded by the son of an accused Moody's cult leader. They worship carrying AR-15s. Look at this church getting too dangerous, bro. It is getting too dangerous out there for church, bro. Bro, <laughs> the church of the club turning the same shit, just, bro. Yeah, <laughs> niggas just carrying a gun, carrying guns in the club. Niggas fighting in the club. Next thing you know, it's gonna be ass throwing in the church. Niggas gonna be like. What the fuck? And it's gonna be on TikTok. Why? Hey. It's gonna be a TikTok uh <laughs> fucking challenge. <laughs> it's gonna be a fucking TikTok challenge. Watch. Throw that ass in the front pew. Hey, throw that ass in the front pew. <laughs> ass gonna be like, yeah. People fuck do it. anything for likes, bro. You already know. If one person did that, made it popping. There'd be so much ass thrown in church, bro. <laughs> bro, it's gonna be next, bro. Tell him. Ass throwing in the fucking church. They got guns and shit. Niggas was fighting last week. I just wanted to show that before we get into our articles, bro. Uh, oh, before tweets? the articles, I got some tweets, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some motherfucking tweets, All bro. Right, let's see what you got from your last ones were, were very good. Oh, God, bro. These ones, bro. Oh, Lordy Lord. By Pete Dominic. Someone explain to me what is wrong with a child twerking. I still do not understand. What is the concern? Question mark. <laughs> this nigga right hey, here. Tell, hey, tell me you're a pedophile without saying you're a pedophile. <laughs> you about to get Chris Hansen on this nigga. <laughs> bro, what is wrong with people, bro? They wilding. These like, niggas say anything on Twitter. Can't. Come on, man. I, I I really don't even want to dignify that with an answer. It's just asinine to even like say those kind of things out loud. And it's even worse when you type them and then press send because it takes you longer to do that. You have to oh come up with God. an idea in your head. You have to formulate those words in your head. You have to take out your phone. You have to unlock your phone. You have to open the Twitter app. Then you have to type it out. Letter by letter by letter. There's a lot of characters in that. And then you have to put a period at the end, and then you have to press send tweet. You yeah. did all of that, and nothing was a red flag to you. <laughs> hey, I I don't know, but these niggas be saying the most wildest shit on Twitter, bro. I just don't understand it, bro. I mean, is a, <laughs> I say it all the time. It's a fucking it's skid row for social media, right? It's hey, let's see what time that motherfucker tweeted that. That probably explained a lot more too, bro. What time did this thing? What? Five thirty in the afternoon. Oh. <laughs> well, and on June fourteenth. <laughs> I mean, maybe it was hot outside, and he didn't mean twerking. He meant working. Maybe he meant working like child labor. That's way better than twerking. <laughs> At 5.30, this nigga is thinking about the most craziest shit, bro. What's wrong with this nigga? He's like, I enjoy watching children twerk. Don't you? Doesn't everyone? What the fuck are you talking about, bro? Get you your nasty me. ass out of here. Get your nasty ass out of here. Nasty. Dominic, get your ass out of here, nasty man. Oh my gosh. You should have known that nigga was Pete nasty. Dominic. That was his name. Pete. Yeah. 
Pete Dominic, bro. First of all, if your name is Pete, I'm already looking at you like, yeah, yeah you probably kind of nasty. Look, he must be a he got to be a comedian. No, oh, who nasty Pete? That's right. what that's his name from now on. Nasty yeah. Pete. Pete. Nasty oh, Pete. Shit. oh shit, nasty <laughs> Pete. Shout out to Nasty Pete, bro. All right, let me get to, let's get to this next tweet, bro. bro. <sighs> Brown at Little Hollywood. She tweeted this at four fifty nine p.m. Niggas tweet wild shit, dude. I don't. Bro, know five o'clock, tweet. baby. That's the witching hour, bro. <laughs> five o'clock is the witching hour. <laughs> yep. Right after niggas get off of work. 5 p.m. is when niggas is devious and they've been waiting all day to get their shit off. <laughs> they've been working their job <laughs> 9 to 5 on a goddamn day. Damn. <laughs> Look what she tweets, though. <clears throat> a regular nigga gonna make your day. A real nigga gonna change your life. We got two definitions of real nigga. They <laughs> might. Ch- so the re- a real nigga might change your life because you're gonna have. Let's see, about two, three kids yeah. on food stamps, and you're gonna be in jail. <laughs> I mean, he gonna be in jail for uh for fucking uh racketeering scheme or some shit. I, <laughs> he gonna be a, he a scammer. But I just don't get it. A regular nigga and a real nigga. What if they one and the same? You regular niggas can't be real niggas. I I think that the definition under what she is talking about. I believe, and I don't know her, but let me just make a quick, you know, assumption that she's talking about somebody with a lot of money um, that doesn't have a regular job, like a nine to five job. Um, So typically, you know, and they're black, obviously, because she's saying nigga. So typically those people are getting those money, those monies. In uh, not so legal ways, and typically people don't retire from not so legal jobs; they just uh, kind of go to jail. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> I mean, there there are a few that that, that make it right, um, but yeah, I, I just really don't see how that makes any sense because it depends. Like I said, it depends on your definition. Obviously, we don't know where her head was at when that happens, but that tweet is a way better tweet than a. Than uh, nasty Pete's for sure, fuck it, hundred percent. Five o'clock, bro. I'm gonna start going on Twitter at five o'clock, bro. <laughs> that's the that's oh, fucking yeah. demon time, nigga. The wildest that, shit, bro. That's that's Twitter demon time right there, bro. Uh, no, Sarah like, says uh, that uh, Samuel Johnson he was born in Litchfield, United Kingdom. It doesn't say anything about his ethnic background. Yeah, damn it. Obviously. Well, we don't. Robert Calf to wear it, Calf Dry and fucking Samuel Johnson. He the same nigga. We just gonna assume. Yeah. <laughs> but no, nah, bro. That tweet, okay. I just I just don't understand it, bro. Like this whole real nigga, regular nigga, like it doesn't make sense, bro. Regular people, real too. Like, stop bullshitting. You regular too. I mean, if you if you punch like, in the clock, regular. you're not real, right? You're not real. You're you're fake. If you're part of the are, clock, apparently, yeah, you're a you're you're a bot. You're, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you an NPC. Yeah, <laughs> they found out, bro. They found out that that the niggas that's punching in and out is NPCs. What are we gonna do now, <laughs> nigga? Man, these tweets I see, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Jeez, hey, bro. Let's get into one of these articles, bro. Let's, yes, sir. The old shit first, bro. Hold on, man. Hold on. Can you see it? Uh, yeah, man. So this this one is a is a is a bit somber. Huh. Um, but I, I I really want to talk about this, man. Uh, you know, shout out to uh, my mom's today. Uh, was kind of telling me about this, so I did a little bit of research on it. So obviously, it happened right here in sunny San Diego, California. So uh, in Puma Valley, California, a man died Monday after falling from a zip line in North County's Puma Valley area. A close friend of his uh, of his told Fox 5 said it was a selfless act to save someone's life. So the incident happened Saturday at La Jolla Zip Zoom zip line on the La Jolla Indian Reservation. 
Um, the friend identified the victim as 34-year-old Joaquin Romero, confirming to Fox 5 he died Monday morning at Sharp Memorial Hospital. The friend said Romero was an employee of the popular attraction at the reservation. A witness said Romero was helping a woman get hooked on the platform when she started sliding out of the line. He couldn't stop her and grabbed onto her harness, which caused them both to slide out about 100 feet above the ground, according to witnesses. The friend said Romero feared the woman would fall because of the weight. So he made a heroic decision to let go. Damn. According to witnesses, uh, the woman was not injured. So he was on the receiving end. So he was at the end of the zip line. He was trying to help her unstrap. Yeah. And um, I guess there was some instability and she slid back out and she wasn't completely within the harness. Damn. So he went to try to grab her before she slid back out and he fell off the platform as well. He was holding on to the straps and they have a 250 pound weight limit, which is obviously supports one person. So he looked at her and let go, saving her life and ending his own. So that was a completely selfless fucking act, man. And if nobody else in the world talks about this on any other any major news outlet, I wanted to make sure we talked about this here today, um, yeah. because that was ab- absolutely some of the most heroic shit. That's like some movie shit that you see, right? So yeah. Joaquin w- Romero, rest in peace. Yeah, R.I.P. Berber. Rest God. in peace. There is no f- like I I could not imagine myself doing something like that for a complete stranger, right? A complete yeah. somebody you've never met before, and you figure what I imagine that he's like, shit, I wasn't able to, you know, rein her all the way in. This is my fault. Somebody has to die. We both shouldn't have to die. It should be me. Yeah. Bruh, Jeez. I'm gonna keep it a, a thousand percent with you. If that's me, I'm holding on, bruh. Oh no, there ain't no way. Ain't no way. There ain't no fucking way. Unless it's somebody like in my family, obviously, like if it's my wife or my kids, you know, my mama, you know, something like that, obviously, right? But for a complete stranger, there's no way. Absolutely not. So, I mean, that's just right. I mean, I, I, I don't know where the, the, you know, the woman has to feel terrible um, for, for, for what happened. And um, so uh, RIP, you know, to this man and the family, um, you know, just know that, you know, the guy was a real one and a good one. And, you know, we, we lost a great guy. You know, I don't know what he did before in his life, um, but, you know, that selfless act needs to be spoken about. And, uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to bring it up here. So I know it's not like a, a conversation piece that that I normally bring up, but I felt like that's something that people need to hear about. That's something that needs to be talked about, you know, and hopefully they resurrect a memorial or something like that for him. And yeah. hopefully that zip lines is a popular attraction. Hopefully they take care of that family. Hopefully, but they're a big company. I doubt it. I doubt they'll take care of anything. <laughs> be honest. Be honest, bro. <laughs> they, they got a clause in there like uh, you zip line at your own risk. Mm-hmm. Shit, tiny. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's, it's within the... Uh, you know, the employee handbook when they first get hired that, you know, if something like this happens, the company's not liable. Yeah. But Damn. you got to do the right thing. You got to do the right thing in life, man. And this man did the right thing, you know, what well, what he considered to be the right thing. And, um, you know, it cost him his life. So, you know, shout out to YK, man. May you yeah. rest in peace, brother. R.I.P., bro, bro. God damn. I know. My bad, bro. I didn't mean to bring the vibe down, but I, I had to uh, had to talk sad about cast. that one. I heard about that. We, we the sad cast. Nah, no sad cast. I'm sure you about to hit us with that uh, that fire, cast. that John Blaze. Sad cast. <laughs> sad cast. Uh, yes. I'm going to hit you with the fire. Uh, look at Look at this shit right here, bro. On the insiders. By Palmer, Hosh. TikTok users are pretending to accidentally brush their teeth with razors in the <laughs> bloody meme trend. You motherfuckers. I'm telling you, TikTok is the devil. 
<laughs> why don't they just do it? I don't know. He's just the do it. If, if you're for the culture, <laughs> just do it. Just brush your teeth with razors, fam. Yeah. Y'all That's is cool. posers, man. Y'all oh. posers. Y'all ain't down for the cause. Down for the fuck cause. These motherfuckers, man. Shit. You gotta be, I mean, if you have that allegiance, you gotta be like the fucking Taliban or like the kamikazes during World War II. They just <laughs> give their fucking life for the cause, right? So if yeah. you believe in TikTok and you believe in everything that it stands for, you believe in the platform. Yeah, brush your then, teeth with the fucking razor blades. Yeah, then just brush your teeth with the fucking razor blades, fam. Don't hit me with that fake shit. Yeah, we you know what I'm saying? I want to see real blood. I want to see real anguish and pain. That's what I want to see. Now we the terrible cast. Damn no, this ain't the terrible cast. This is <laughs> I'm supporting. I'm telling them how to live their dreams. Oh shit, YOLO. You want to be TikTok famous? Brush your teeth with the fucking razors. I'm sure that shit will go viral quickly. Yep, they said pretend though, so let's read. Okay, oh. go ahead. My bad. Let's read it. A gory trend has been circulating on TikTok over the past month. As creators use fake blood to show... See, you motherfuckers. Y'all ain't even fucking in it 100%. Fake blood. You see this? And you know some of them niggas got gingivitis. They teeth be bleeding when they fucking brush their teeth anyway. Fucking bleeding gums. <laughs> <laughs> that character? Where they show that from? Bleeding gums. Damn. It's a cartoon. I don't know. I don't know. If it was Fat Albert. Y'all let us know out there. Shit. Uh, <laughs> fake blood. To show what would happen if they accidentally brushed their teeth, applied eyeliner, or combed their hair with a razor. You punk motherfuckers. <laughs> Y'all, tr- y'all pretending to show what would happen if you fucking do this shit with a razor. We know what would happen. We know what the fuck would happen. Oh my god! A sharp object against human skin may cause a gash, which will then cause bleeding. Oh god! Yeah. Right. So, so to me, that's just basic. Uh, <laughs> just, just basic human knowledge. I would assume. Yeah. This like is every. A- they running out of ideas, bro. Hey, they running out of ideas. The fuck. There's up. not enough niggas making TikTok dances. It ain't. Ever since like the like black people like the the, the black content creators basically decided that they weren't gonna do like all the dances and stuff on TikTok anymore. Yep. You know what's been happening? This shit. Bunch of bullshit. Yeah. Th- that's literally a trend on TikTok. <laughs> what the fuck? What is the that fuck for? is that? I don't know. There's some fucking stupid Russian song playing, and they, they fucking just do this. To, it's it's dumb. It's a trend that's completely asinine, and this is all they can come up with in absence of a Negroid to exploit. Oh my god! <laughs> fucking idiotic. Jeez, bruh. Oh man. But, let me read a little bit more, bruh. Yeah, go ahead. God damn, this shit crazy, bro. Um, a trend is set is set to a pitch and slow down. Who cares about that? But many other videos show a creator reaching for an object like a tooth or eyeliner pen, only to look down and realize that they've accidentally brushed their teeth or attempted to apply makeup with a shaving razor. I am done. Reading this bullshit. I mean, it's basically just repeating oh itself over God. and over again. That's a redundant article. <laughs> Bro, what the Everything fuck? I needed to know, I learned in the headline. <laughs> like, <laughs> On the headline. And, and, and the people that's doing this shit out there is like, really? What are you accomplishing? Niggas see a razor that they do that shit is like, they're not going to accidentally brush their teeth with a fucking razor or fucking do shit with an eyeliner with a razor. That doesn't I make mean, sense. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's happened throughout the history of time that one idiot has done it in a drunken stupor. Uh, maybe the nigga that wrote the dictionary was off that lane or a perk or something like that. And he might accidentally did that shit. Samuel Johnson or whatever this nigga name is. Samuel Johnson and Robert Pathway. <laughs> How'd he come up with Razor? He must... God damn, that's sharp. That's a Razor. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, bro, hey... TikTok got people doing the most idiotic, non-creative shit that I can't even say I've seen. Because, like, the TikTok I'm seeing, I don't really see that shit. 
I read about the shit and I'm like, it's because I don't follow like bigger like fucking um content creators. Nah, I don't. I don't. I just when I scroll on TikTok, it's basically just random. I don't follow a bunch of people. I just look at random shit. So yeah, um, that shit, bro. I I barely be seeing the fucking idiotic shit that I be reading about. But maybe I need to scroll in TikTok a little bit more, bro. Put uh, Sarah's uh, comment up on the screen because I think this is a very important. Let's start taking warning labels off everything and eliminate the people who do stupid shit like this. We <laughs> only need people who have common sense. <laughs> Nigga, do you have some dinging bells or something? Like, do you have any of that in a soundbite? Because I've been running on that campaign for most of my life. <laughs> hey, like the shit we bro. did and survived as children. Yeah, bro. We learned by making those mistakes. Oh, fuck. I'm not going to do that again. Right? Yeah. But we also had common sense with some shit like, yeah, I'm not going to fucking do that. You never thought about fucking brushing your fucking teeth with a razor blade. We don't have I'm natural selection anymore. Like, That's why this planet is completely overpopulated because we don't have natural selection anymore. Anybody that's willing to brush their teeth with a razor blade, and you know that maybe, you know, I know I was talking that shit earlier, but you know maybe some young dumbass kid is going to do the real shit for some likes. Oh, man. This is dangerous. That, that's man. what this encourages. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. This shit is dangerous doing stupid shit like this. But they could do this shit, but I can't post a clip of us having a conversation. Oh, no. Nope. Can't do that shit. On TikTok. Hell no. Hell no. They'll silent, silence quickly. Nope, nope. Literally every clip I try to add gets silenced on TikTok. And I get a community guidelines violation. It's for a regular conversation like I'm having right now. Yeah. Not even using any profanity or anything like that. So how is that able to, like, how do I always get those content violations? I think the content is the content of my, you know, my skin more than anything. However, um, how do they let these people do these trends like this that obviously, like, yeah, I was literally thinking about that. So, like, why would you purposely eat a Tide Pod just for likes and views? They let people do that. They let they let that shit go viral. And that shit's fucking dangerous. Like, what the fuck? To so the point where Tide had to put label not to eat it, and they had to put it on their website. Not yeah, to like, eat it because it was dangerous. Why? Just right. let the kids go, man. <laughs> nah, that ain't right. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> yo, who's the who's the owner of this? Bite Dance? No, TikTok parents founder Zing Zing. Well, ah, I can't find the owner. Of it's these it's a uh, it's a Chinese company. It is, but who's the fucking spokesman? I want to fucking be like, who do we have to pay so we get our videos? Fucking sing, goddammit. <laughs> hey, just fucking. I, I, pay, I, I go to a meeting with them and slide three dollars across the table. Yeah. Like, covered in pieces of paper. Like, hey, hey. here's three dollars, bro. Don't tell nobody. Just let my shit go through. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hold on. Do you ever think that, like, so you know the stupid shit that motherfuckers are doing on social media? To get like viewership up and likes on all that other bullshit. Yeah, I felt like when we were little kids, we made fun of motherfuckers that did dumb shit like that, and it made them stop doing dumb shit. Mm -hmm. Or not, not enough stop, of that. Or kind of like you know, it's not enough of that. And what happens is when you go in there and be like, "Hey, you're stupid," you get a community guidelines violation for harassing them. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, <laughs> you get fucking. Put in jail, Twitter jail, TikTok jail, Facebook jail. They throw your ass in jail if you tell that shit. There's yeah. a couple things that go in. First of all, there's not enough ass whoopings going around. Yeah. Obviously, there's not enough not enough parenting that to actually look and see what your fucking children are doing, right? Yeah. Like, I often my daughter was watching TV in the room. Like, I stop in there all the time just to see what the hell's going on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bust in. What's going on? I really, I do. Uh, yes, absolutely. 
Hell yeah. Absolutely. Shit, when I'm a dad, I'm going to do that shit. I'm like, what the I hell? Scared, I scare the hell out of her hey. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Just so she know, look, I might not want to do no weird shit in here because my dad's liable to bust in here at any moment of the day. <laughs> Hell yeah. Bow! You know what I'm saying? So there's not enough of that, like, engagement. Parental engagement doesn't doesn't happen. Not, not enough, you know, ass whoopings. Not enough. If you believe in the Bible, all these Bible thumpers, spare the rod, spoil the child is in the Bible. Right? Mm -hmm. Spare the rod, spoil the child. That means if you don't whoop their ass, they're going to be spoiled. Yeah. Whip your kids ass, man. Let, uh, you know, don't beat your kids. That's different. Yeah, don't beat them. God damn. Just whip your kids ass every now and then. Oh, you know. the and every now and then just flinch at them. Because I do that too. Just yeah. just let them know. Like I can steal on you. God, God. You know what God. I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> just keep them on their toes. Daddy bench press 365. You know what I'm saying? Hey, he hit hard. You might yeah. you yeah. You, you, you might not. <laughs> <laughs> you want Damn, you know what I'm saying? So I mean I just I, I just I just think at this point um like TikTok is being detrimental. Yeah. It's being detrimental. All I have from TikTok is like you gotta have a balance though. And I I don't think they have a balance with shit. Because I'll be no, here they other maybe telling me they should get silence and shit when they say certain things and all that. And it's like, but they put all this other idiotic shit that's actually dangerous to a young mind that's impressionable. Well, people will get banned for reposting a popular post, but the original creator of that post does not get banned. For real? Yeah. Nick. So like they'll they'll repost it and they'll like green screen it and yeah. then it'll get silence for community guidelines violation, but the original video is still up. Oh, uh, that's that money shit. It's money involved. That's why at that point. If the so, original content creator is the numbers is booming and shit. Yep, that's money. We gotta get to that level, Frank. How do we do it? Owner of it's, TikTok. It's very simple. I'm gonna stay out of politics, but I'm gonna become president. Clap for you, my friend. <laughs> Very clap simple. And clap for you. And then I'm just gonna enact my, my first day in office. I'm gonna make sure I pick a, a very good VP. My first day in office, I'm gonna fucking ban TikTok, and then I'm going to retire immediately. Go, uh, secretary. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, nah, I'm not gonna let your ass be a secretary of defense, nigga. <laughs> what you say, god damn it? Hiya! Hatatakaya! Like, hey, come on, went to the bodega and got an argument with some Jamaican, so he fucking bombed Jamaica. <laughs> I would never bomb Jamaica. I love Jamaicans. <laughs> Shout out to DJ Roscoe, my Jamaican partner. Hey, man. Shout out to the beef patties. You know what I'm saying? Man. Motherfuckers is hot fire. Fire! Hey, they food be fire as fuck, bro. DJ Roscoe, we gonna have you on here soon, bro. Yeah, sir, ski. Yeah, man. Hey, next week we having a guest, y'all. Y'all be... Be ready for that, man. Be ready. Be ready. So, Good, before bro. we close this out, you got a lie for your brother this week, man? Boy, do I got a lie. A lie means let's investigate everything. That's what we fucking do. And the lie that I have for you this week. We know small talk, but what's big talk? Oh, shit. God. Well, well, well big talk. <laughs> now, I know small, what small talk is. Yeah. Big talk is a talk we not allowed in. <laughs> big talk is only for niggas with big money. Big talk uh, is what runs the fucking world. The global yeah, elites talk. have big talk. Damn. Yeah. They they got the big talk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so uh you know what I mean? Any anytime you 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 sling in the you know the, the 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 B or the T in the front of your money, you know, billions, yeah, trillions. Okay. Then you every conversation is big talk. It's big talk right here, bro. Stay out of it. That's big talk. That's big talk. Damn, so most of us be talking small talk. 
I hate small talk. Every conversation you've ever had in your life is small talk. <laughs> I hate I hate to I hate to bust your bubble because you hate small talk, but every conversation you've ever had is small talk. <laughs> That's a small talk? Yeah. yeah. Makes you wonder. We will never get to big talk. Eventually we will. I can't wait till we till we get the big talk. Then I'm, about, I'm no, going no. to be the president. I'm going to be the president. I'm okay. going to have big talks. Okay. Is there, is there medium talk? I think I have medium talks. I don't have small talks. I mean, I have small talks, but I'd rather have medium talks. I like, mean, what, what we talk about that's medium, right? Yeah, I mean, almost, almost big talk. I, I, no, nah, it's not even almost big talk. It's like a uh, step above small talk. Yeah. I don't even know. We medium talk. Yeah, no, we're. Uh... We big little talking, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> big little, little pinky. you know what I'm saying. But anytime you got the ability to move your pinky toe and uh, completely shift the economic situation, you know, of an entire country or destabilize a, a whole area um, through a text message, then I, I would say that's big. That's big shit. Big talk. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Okay. Yeah, we get a definition of big talk. I didn't even know what big talk was. I was like, that's just my definition. Now it, it, it could vary depending on who you're talking to, but you're talking to a future president here, so show some fucking respect. All right, you're right. <laughs> I show, show some respect. Sorry, sir. Future presidency, right here. No problem. I, I, I see a, a bright future for you in my cabinet. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, watch, watch. We go, hey, dead ass. We gonna we gonna hear rappers start saying big talk, bro. I don't talk that small talk. It's all about big talk. Sarah says, I feel like taxpayer uh, should be able to have big talk, and rich people get small talk. Well, considering the fact that there are more of us than there are of them, I completely agree with you. And if we could ever just align as a people, we would completely take over everything because but, the elite the elite are just a handful of motherfuckers true right mm -hmm. so if we ever because you got to consider the fact that the military police officers everybody you know is one of us right everybody is a normal citizen and if all of us decide one day yeah i'm not fucking with this shit no more take you over. know what kind of change that shit would happen but then, but then they got a <clears throat> people that's in the small, you know what I mean? Not an the elite. They vision themselves being in the the elite. That's so that takes a lot of people away from the motherfucking being a group. You know? All those people who think they can be, they're in an elite. When the wolves come to feast, they can be in the elite if they want. I bet you the motherfuckers change real quick. Change then, yeah. When the millions of people show up on the fucking White House lawn, like, hey. Like they did on the six? Oh, shit. Yeah. Nigga. And those were only a few thousand people. Now, imagine if every person in the country was like, ah, yeah, I'm not fucking with this no more, bro. We're about to run up in this. And there was no police officers saying no because they're like, yeah, we're not fucking with it no more. There's no military like, no, nah, fuck. Like, because they're all like, oh, I'm a regular citizen. I'm not a global elite. I'm going to, you know, run with my people on this one. Ah, oh, man. We could rule the fucking world the way it should be, right? Should be an actual democracy. Should be us talking and making changes. <laughs> we should be writing bills as people and deciding what we want passed, what legislation we want to run through. Instead, it's them. It's them. It's all them. It's not us. We don't even We don't even see those bills, most of them. Nah, those they get passed around the chambers, go to Congress or the, the floor, and we never see them. They make the decision as to what our lives are going to be, but they call that freedom. <sighs> when we have nothing to do with the decisions that are going to affect our everyday lives. So when I become that president, right. that day that I'm president, yeah, for that one day, mm -hmm. all that's just going to change. That goes right back to our freedom of speech. Big talk is small talk. We don't have any of it. <laughs> yeah. We all an illusion, nigga. God damn. The small yeah. talk, okay. The definition of small talk, though, isn't it like the whole like, oh, hey, how you doing? 
everything good with you? Yeah, I mean, stop. Is that small talk? What is small talk? So let's see what the uh, what uh, Samuel Johnson says small talk is. Yeah, let's says, it says small talk is an informal type of discord that does not cover any functional topics of conversation or any transactions that need to be addressed. In essence, it's a polite conversation about unimportant things. Oh, so big talk is about important things. Exactly. So do we talk big talk? I mean, things that are important to us, right? Yeah, but what's important to us? Maybe important I mean, to us. Changing, the tra- cha- changing the the trajectory of our families, yeah, right, and and and, and uh, you know changing platforms and changing how we're looked at as a people. I mean, we we have those conversations, right? So that is our forte. But in a grand scheme of things, to you know, the people who are really empowered to make the decisions, it's just small talk because we're just. <clears throat> We're peons. We're we're just a tax ID number. A fucking tax ID number. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you sons of bitches. Still got us doing it as a code. I mean, there's it's literally the only reason why we have social security <laughs> numbers is so they can tax us. Yeah. That's literally the only reason they did not have. They did not used to have that like back in the seventies and shit. Well, the sixties, I believe, sixties. They didn't didn't have that. Like people just. Said that they had however many kids and the government believed it because they didn't know. They weren't keeping track of this shit. So that's how they did it. So they can make sure they're collecting the funds from each and every American citizen. They attach a number to us. Dude, we're just we're just a bunch of numbers. Yeah. We're we're in the fucking matrix. Well duh. (laughs) Damn. And the only thing that would make it yeah, Makers Majors Four. The only thing that will make it more obvious is if you know our our numbers were only ones and zeros. Then uh, you really you would really understand that, that we're in the matrix. But you know, Elon Musk says there's a you know the the probability is high that we're just in a in a simulation anyway. So, well, you know. I like Elon Musk. He like the like the corny white dude at like remember San Diego State, but he was always saying like funny shit from time to time by accident. Yeah, no, nah, he, he yeah. didn't even know he was saying this shit. Yeah, <laughs> this is an accidentally funny one. And when he tried to be funny, it's like, bro, you corny as shit. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Nigga, you repeat the same joke. Like, come on, did you get it? I said peanut butter. Peanut butter? Come on, everybody. Peanut butter? <laughs> oh, oh, shit. So, the stat that, right no, here. November 1936, social security numbers were first issued. So, yeah. Thank you, Sarah. So, Damn. Thank you for that information. So, but before their nigga, it was just anarchy. People were just <laughs> just doing what they wanted to do. You they had no idea who existed. <laughs> Good, bro. Damn. You could just make up motherfuckers at this point. Bro, that's what... Look at Sarah, Sarah on her research shit tonight. Thank you, Sarah, for... Oh, yeah. for, 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 for uh, look, we need to give her a role, man, as our, our, our uh, correspondent. Hell yeah. <laughs> now I'm going to our correspondent, Sarah Goldstein. <laughs> we call you RSG. Research Sarah Goldstein. Yeah. RSG. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. But uh I mean it, it, so you know to, to, to close out the discourse on, on, on big talk big versus talk. versus small talk. Yeah. You know. And in, in the grand scheme of things, like if it's in a serious, I, I know it was kind of like a, a joking thing, but in a seriousness, like nothing we have a conversation about is world changing, right? So in the grand scheme of things, every conversation we have is small talk. However, to us, we talk a big shit all the time. You know what I'm saying? So, yep. And that's what Eric, I'm going to tell people that for now. On. Yeah. Hey, that's small talk. I only talk big talk over here, fam. I'll talk. I'm a, no, nah, I'm a, I'm a <laughs> medium talk. Cause it sounds like I'm humble. <laughs> <laughs> Medium talk. We trying to progress. Yes, they they do call you humble Hamza. Yeah, humble Hamza. <laughs> oh snaps! All Woo! right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're at an hour and fifteen minutes. That means we have come to the end of episode number twenty nine of the Magic Think Tank podcast. Now again, we're brought yes, to you by. 
Cover City Mechanical Inc., your HVAC and plumbing specialist in San Diego, California. First place loser clothing line and triple seven clothing on Amazon.com. Please go to those various sites. Buy your quality garments. Get that service if you live in San Diego, California from us. Now, Magic, where can they find us to close it out? Bro, YouTube been around since 05. Y'all know what to do. All you got to do is type in Kamar Johnson. Me February 14th of 2005 to be exact. Oh, February 14th, Valentine's Day. Ain't that a motherfucking bitch? <laughs> <laughs> on Valentine's Day. Look, but all you got to do is type in Kamar Johnson ENT on YouTube. Wow. Pop right the fuck up. And from our potters out there on Apple Podcasts, we're on SoundCloud, and we on Google Podcasts. All you got to do is type up the Magic Think Tank or Kamar Johnson ENT. Bam, when we pop right the fuck up. Woo! <laughs> Hey, and I want to thank each and every one of you pretty ugly yeah. motherfuckers for joining us today yeah. and class, every man. day for the last 29 weeks. Y'all been riding with us. 56 weeks is one year. That means we've been going solid for half a year, basically, at this point. Half a year. A little bit over ah. half a year. So we've been doing our damn thing, and, and uh, you guys have been right along with us every step of the way. We appreciate you. We appreciate you know, you know, the people that step into the live, we appreciate our correspondent, uh, CSG, um, uh, for always uh interacting and giving us facts when we may be a little bit, you know, to the left with those. So, we appreciate all you guys for your ears every single week. Keep tuning in, keep listening. I promise we're only going to get bigger and better for you guys. Bow, 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 bow. What episode is that, bro? 29? Episode number 0029 to be exact. Tamente. Episode 29. Man, incredible. On that note, we out of here, y'all. Peace out. Peace out, motherfuckers.